Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the binomial distribution and I'm going to solve the problem using Desmos. So as a reminder, a binomial distribution happens when there are only two possible outcomes for our event. We think of each outcome as either being a success or not a success. The probability of success is constant. So no matter how many times we repeat this experiment, we would have the same probability each time. Our notation looks like x with a little squiggle, b, n, p. This tells us that our distribution follows a binomial distribution. The n is the number of trials we're going to do, and the p is the probability of success for each trial. So let's look at our example. A 20 question test has four multiple choice options for each question. If you guess the answers, we're going to find a, the probability of getting more than 12 right. In this situation, n is 20. That's how many times we're doing this experiment, which is guessing the answers. The probability of success is one-fourth. There are four possibilities. Only one of them is right, so the probability of success is 1 over 4. I'm going to write that as 0.25. So our binomial distribution has 20 trials, and our probability of success each time is 0.25. When we think about getting more than 12 right, that does not include 12. So we're thinking 13, 14, 15, all the way up to 20 is what we're looking for the probability of. In Desmos, we need to start by opening up our keyboard, going to the functions, look for distributions, and you want to pick binomial. Then notice it says how many trials, we say 20. It says what's the probability of each trial, we say 0.25. We want to say find the cumulative probability, that way we're not just looking at one answer, we're looking at a lot of answers. We want to know the probability of getting more than 12 right, so more than 12, we're going to start at 13, and our max goes to 20, so I'm going to type it in. If you want to visualize it, let me pull over the graph so you can see what it looks like. I'll hit the zoom so it'll look a little bit better. This is the probability of getting more than 12 right, just by guessing, is 0 0.00018, so roughly 0 0.0002. The next part says let's find the probability of getting less than 10 right. So less than 10 is 9, 8, 7, 6, right, all the way down to 0. So we have the same distribution, same 20 trials and 25% chance of getting it right. We already have it checked as cumulative. We're going to make the max this time 9. We're going to make the minimum 0. That way we have from 0 to 9 correct. This says getting less than 10 correct is very likely. In fact, it's 98.61%. So you can write that as 0.9861. The last one we'll look at today is the probability of getting 8 to 14 correct. Back in Desmos, my minimum is 8. My maximum is 14. Desmos is adding up all the ones from 8 to 14, and it gives us 0 0.1018. If you wanted to know an individual value, like the probability of getting exactly 8 right, you can put 8 to 8. You can also click on the number. The first number tells us the number that are correct, which is 8, and then the 0 0.0609 is the probability, just like we saw when we put it in as the min and the max.